Welcome everybody to Very Important Geeks, where today we are gonna geek out about DJI OM4. So let's see what we get in the box. Little packet that says, create magnetic moments. You'll see why in a second. What do we have here? We've got a little magnetic piece that sticks to the back of your phone. We have a little riser, just in case you have a smaller phone that doesn't fit. Extra 3M sticky tape. We have a magnetic alignment guide. This will help you put this magnet on the back of your phone in the right place. Just make sure it's all balanced once it gets on the gimbal. Um, some warranty information. The Bible according to DJI. And a beauteous little bag. And of course you get the gimbal itself. Folds out. Boop. You get the magnetic phone holder attachment. It's spring actuated. Just clips onto the back of your phone like so. You get a tripod. That can also screw into the bottom of the gimbal itself. And a USB charging cable. So DJI also included a little USB charging port on the side here. So this, once you charge this up, it essentially acts like a battery pack. So you can plug your phone into this and charge it at the same time. Now it may get in the way of some of this gimbal motion, uh, the USB cable. So mileage may vary there, but a neat feature nonetheless. So let's get into the functionality. The OM4 shares the same layout as previous generations, joystick, record button, and a power button, and zoom controls. Press the power button once to check the battery level. Press and hold the power button to turn it on. Zoom controls are along the side. Pull it down for a wider shot, push it up for a tighter shot. And the pistol grip button allows your recentering, tracking, and sport mode options. Press and hold the power button again to turn the unit off. To switch between portrait and landscape mode, press the power button twice. In the box, the joystick controls are going to be inverted, meaning up is down and down is up. But once you get used to that, just use the joystick to control as you would normally. DJI has also included ActiveTrack 3.0 on this gimbal. Just draw a square on the object that you wish to track and let the gimbal do the rest. What sets the OM4 apart from its predecessors is the new addition of a magnetic mounting system. Now, if we look at the clasp, you can see it's well constructed, all metal, spring actuated, and just goes on the back of your phone. It's easiest just to slide it in from one side and then stretch it all the way across, making sure that the magnet is pretty centered up and down, left and right. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is that there is a fixed angle and a fixed size on this. So if your phone is in a case or a little bit thicker, it may not fit so great. As you can see here, my phone case is silicone and it kept slipping off more than I would like it to. You'll find on the gimbal itself, there's a little white dot that corresponds to a dot on the phone clamp as well. Just line the two white dots up, give it a little twist to make sure it won't move and everything snaps into place very solidly. Now the magnet is designed so that it can only fit on one possible way, which prevents unnecessary twisting. Now let's take the gimbal for a little test drive. The footage on the left was just me holding my phone and walking to get the mail. The footage on the right was with the gimbal. And you can see that the footage on the left is a little bit shakier than it is on the right. The one on the right is a lot smoother. All the real power in the gimbal comes from the DJI app itself. So once you get it, go ahead and pair your phone to it. And then you'll need to activate the device. And to activate the device, you'll need to register, get yourself a DJI account. It'll send you to this screen, log in if you have one, register if you don't already. The first time you use the app, you'll be taken through the onboarding process, which will familiarize you and orient you to the controls. 
And after that, it will begin checking to see if there's a firmware update. If there is, go ahead and download it. And after it's done, then you are off to the races. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see. Did we miss anything? Is an OM4 in your future? We would love to hear from you. Also, please don't forget to smoosh that like button and give us a sub. It would help us out a lot. Until next time, geek out.